Now we need to write code for this melee attack task. To save time, I'm going to just show the finished code, then explain it. The purpose of this new task is to play the attack montage when the player is in combat range as determined by the service we wrote in the previous video. Now the header should look like this. Notice you need the blackboard component header as well. The montage has finished function is used to determine if the montage has finished playing. This is so that we don't try and play the montage again while it's already playing. Now in the CPP file, you need these headers. Now in this constructor, we just set the node name to melee attack. And in the execute task function, first thing we do is to see if we're out of range. So the first line gets the blackboard key, the blackboard component, reads it and sees whether it's out of range. And that is a Boolean. Now, if we are out of range, it just finishes the task and exits. Now, if we are in range, we get the AI's controller and the NPC itself. We then check to see if the NPC supports the iCombat interface. And in fact, it casts it to get a reference to that interface. Now, we wrote this interface, if you remember, a couple of videos back, this one. And we implemented this in our NPC class by multiply inheriting from it. And we wrote this this function which implements the interface what this does it just plays the montage if the montage has been set if this cast succeeds we enter this if statement and if the montage has finished then we want to play it again and so we call this execute melee attack now this is a function generated by the unreal header tool and it calls that function that we implemented in our mpc a call this it all happens behind the scenes in the code generation. After we've done all that, we then just finish the task. Now, the montage has finished function down the bottom. What that does it is given an NPC and it gets the mesh of that NPC. It gets its anim instance and then it can call a function that exists on the anim instance called montage get is stopped, which will return true if the montage had that it's provided with actually has finished. Otherwise, it will return false. Let's now do a build and then set things up in Unreal. So that succeeded. I've now got to open the blackboard, sorry, the behavior tree. So on this chasing player sequence, we need to add a service. And it's this one, this is player in melee range. I've got to drag off of here, haven't I? And do melee attack. So for this, we need to set the blackboard key to player is in many range. Same for this one. So what will happen is that when we are in the chasing player sequence, the is player in melee range service will constantly check to see if the NPC is in range of the player. If so, then the blackboard key will become true and this melee attack will perform the animation for us if we look. So what this task is doing, it's getting the blackboard key, which is being updated by the service to tell whether or not we're in range or not. And uh, this out of range, which is a balloon, of course, it's out of range, then we just exit. But if it's in range, then this task will play the attack montage for the NPC. OK, let's give it a test. I let him catch up with us, chase us. Ah, I made the constant error of not setting up the montage. I go to this. Yeah, so if I open the blueprint for the NPC, this BP NPC, I didn't do this. I keep doing this. If I uh, compile and save, let's try again. Let's 
still not attacking. We'll have to find out why. So it's not working. If I get this to this debug thing to work, you can see that um, you got player is in melee range is false, and it never goes to true. And I think the reason is that the on the is player in melee range service this melee range is way too low. I think uh, we could try 50. But I think even that might be a bit low. Yeah, even that's too low. So I'm going to have to tweak this to get the right value. I'm going to stick it on, let's say 80. Now he's punching. Um, now the trouble is to lose it. Goes back to patrolling. That's 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 working. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Next thing I'm going to do is to come up with some kind of health system. So as we attack, we deplete the NPC's health, and when it falls to zero, he dies, and vice versa. If when he attacks us, then if our health drops too low, we die as well. So that will be the subject of subsequent videos.